Good evening everyone. Welcome to Game 4 of the 2013 US vs UK Internet Scrabble Tournament, a best of nine series with the UK currently leading 2-1. Tonight, I am playing John O'Loughlin of the US, one of the best players in the world. The match is about to start, so let's join the action. And it's John to go first. I do not have a bingo rack. I have the J for score. I have two, a couple of vowels to go with it. So I'm looking at jig and jaw. I also have wilger as a five letter play. So hopefully whatever John plays, I will have some means of improving this rack and scoring well. Through an O I would have jowl. Great. John changes, which frees the way for Wilger. Which I think is the best with this rack. And, well, that is a lot better. I don't think I have a seven-letter bingo, but there may be an eight. It's a pretty tricky set of set of tiles. Uh, with the G and the I, I'm considering whether I would have an eight eight letter bingo ending ing. I don't think I do. I'm now going to well the other suffix to consider is I U M, but that leaves G R E C, so I don't think there's an eight letter bingo ending I U M. I'm going to look at the current floaters on the board to see if uh, inspiration strikes. Can't see anything through the I with the W or the I. The L looks tempting. Can't see anything. Can't see anything through the J. Or the A. This is a tricky rack. I feel there could be an eight. There may not be. I'll have to see what additional floaters John provides. And if I don't play a bingo, this is certainly the sort of rack where I would hope to leave a pretty good uh, rack leave for next go. So I'm looking to see what I can do with the board as it stands. Well, I guess I could play Cerium in column five. Not a great play. It leaves, it stops one square short of a double word square for an S. Now, the only additional floater is the Z. That's no good to me. So how to resolve this rack? What do I want to get rid of? Certainly the G and the U. Now either just the G and the U or gum would be okay. How can I do that? Les is not particularly helpful. I can't put anything in front of it. I think it may take a Z after it, so I would need a blank for that. I'm looking to see if I can play down from the W, but I'm not going to be able to play off my G and my U through the W. can't place anything to the right of the Z because I don't have an A or an O. And likewise, I can't play under the J. Wow, this is tough. So I could play goo at I8 across or gum. 10 points. Actually, I like that. Rice is a nice rack leave. And this obstructs my opponent from using the J. And it's not providing a huge amount of floaters for my opponent. Just wondering if there's a better spot for this. Because the score is so low, but I can't see it. And that's pretty good. I have Cineria, and that plays at G8 across. don't think Scenaria has an anagram. Scenaria has been blocked. Scenaria Al is good. That plays in column 13. 
34 points for John. He's now got an 18-point lead. Scenarial will give me the lead. Do I have anything other than Scenarial? What about the R of Egler? Well, can't see anything through that. Although this is a pretty bingo-y rack. And Reliance is the anagram of Scenarial, and Reliance is better. Yep, Reliance is the play. Doesn't open up a triple word lane, and it stops two squares short. So if my opponent hooks Reliance, he'll be opening up um, a triple word square lane. Reliance 74. I draw the X, that's good. And I have three vowels, so I ought to be able to uh, have a lot of options available. I notice immediately that there's the A of reliance next to a triple letter square. So I am looking to see if I can score that both ways. I don't think I can. Yeah, I cannot. And that's the only really hot single square for my X. The C of Reliance is obstructive because it uh, prevents me playing parallel to Reliance unless I have an H to go after it, and I don't. John has changed. That's not particularly helpful. I was looking for more, more scoring opportunities on the board. But I do have a 56-point lead, and I really want to add to that. How can I do that? Well, I could put the X at J14. Can I do better? I need to be sure I don't have a bingo. This is a pretty promising rack. Okay, I can't see a bingo. Where else can I play my X to good effect? This is where I'm thinking of playing it. That's 25 points. I'd like to play off a vowel as well. I don't really like keeping three vowels and three consonants. Much better to have two vowels and three consonants. I'm looking at the C of Reliance to see if I have an X word ending IC. Les is obstructing me playing in column 5. Well now, what about Cox across here? I like the rack lead. Raid is pretty flexible, and with the E of Reliance available, uh, that's a pretty pretty hot lead. 29 points scores more than Axe. What does the C contribute? The C contributes 6 points. That's enough to justify using it. C does actually complement Raid, so if it was score contributing less, I would keep the C on my rack. Twenty nine points for Cox. Is that the best? Well, maybe not, but it's what I'm going with. And I have Dataria and Radiata. I don't think either of them goes. What a shame. Um because it it doesn't look like a great rack, but it does make two bingos. And I guess in a way that's good because it means the board is tight so John may have problems playing a bingo himself. If I can't get one of my bingos down I'm certainly going to be looking to play off um, two of my A's. Not sure how I'm going to do that. Well, I guess just double A at J7 down, 13 points. 
Need to consider if I do have an eight-letter bingo, but I don't think I do. Three A's is not promising. I do have a eight an eighty-five point lead, which is good. But it's early days in the game, still sixty tiles in the bag. Be nice to score more than thirteen points. I don't have an E or an S, so however good my rack leave is, it's not as good as it could be. Ah, well I have a taxia in column five. Over thirty points, well that's much better. And that plays off ATA A. Great. Rack leave of RID, that goes well with the E of Reliance. A taxia. And it opens the board up. Which although I'm ahead is fine because I think after a taxia I will have quite a good rack leave, and given that the rack leave is uh, or benefits from the E of Reliance, it's not a bad idea to open up another part of the board. Just, I'm just making absolutely sure I haven't missed an easy spot for Radiata or Dataria. I don't think I have. Reliance doesn't take anything in front of it and it only takes an S after it. Okay, John has not opened up any more floaters. What he has done though is open up O15 so I could play Aria 24 points hmm or Tiara, let's see what Tiara scores I think I do need to play here because CH takes a lot of vowels after it and it's just an easy 30 points for John if I play here whereas Ataxia is an uh, obscure column which John is unlikely or less likely to have the tiles to utilise effectively. So 30 points for Tiara, wrap leave of AD is fine and the A at 015 isn't particularly helpful to John as the final letter of a bingo. And I also like playing off five tiles with uh, two blanks unplayed. Now this is not great. You and the V are pretty poor. Um, well, a very poor pair of letters to have. There go both blanks. I do still have a narrow lead of six points. And I'm looking off to play off the U and the V and one of the A's. Fortunately, VAU and UVA are both good. So that increases my chances of achieving that. I could play Favus at A11 across. 36 points, that's not bad. Certainly when you're playing against somebody who's really good, and in particular somebody who's who you think is better than you, uh, there is a priority on keeping on scoring. So, let's see what this looks like. Rack leaves fine. 36 points, I'd like to keep the S. But I note that um, no other S's have been played, so there's still three unseen. And in order to keep the S, I'd really need to be playing off VAU and scoring uh, in the high 20s. And I can't see a way of doing that. Planted. is the seven which leaps out quite a few uh, floaters in fronting nowhere to play planted reliance only takes an s not a d so do i have anything through the o of fronting Pentodal's not good. Well, that's all blocked anyway. 38 points for John. This emphasises why it's important to keep on scoring because um, I know there's a strong likelihood that uh, he will do so. Now, I need to look at the two-letter combinations in uh, fronting. So, 2, un, and st. I don't know my nines particularly well. But I 
I do know some. Can't see anything through TO, nor, nor UN, ST. Nope, and KI is not really worth considering. There's the E of Reliance. Do I have a bingo ending in the E of Reliance? Not that I can see. So, and there's the A of Tiara. I don't have anything ending in that. So, annoyingly, I have a bingo planted. I do not have anywhere to play it. And there's also the OW in column four, and I have down, but plate down, down leapt. Not good. I have the ED ending. No, can't see anything again through the OW. Now, what about using X? I'm now looking to resolve the rack, in which case I'm probably looking to play off the P and the L. And the P is my scoring tile, so can I play through the X using my P? No, not that I can see. Wow, this board is, is tight. Can't play to the left of Reliance because Chi doesn't take anything to its left. And there are therefore limited opportunities. I could play paired at J9 across, but I don't really want to play off my E. It's a, the E is a good tile. I've got nine and a half minutes, so I don't have a great deal of time. There are 37 tiles in the bag. I'm wondering if I can play through the Z. I don't have the O for plots. Wow, this is tough. Okay, I'm now looking at playing through the UN of um, Tusk and Fronting. So, punted. 18 points. Well, yeah, it's not a bad score. Although this planted is, is a promising rack, it's difficult to find a great rack leave. But LAN is not good. Well, there's only one L and two A's, but L and N don't go that well together. It would be nice to play something better than punted, but I'm mindful of the time. Only eight minutes left. It's neck and neck. I've got only a four-point lead. Punted doesn't really open that much to to John. I'm sure this is not optimal. Sure it's not optimal. But if I don't play it, what do I play? Do I have anything through the OW which isn't a bingo, a down word? A plough doesn't hit a triple. I think I am going to play punted because I'm running short on time. Playing a lot of tiles increases my chances of drawing an S. Reliance still takes an S on the end. There is the S. I do not think I have a bingo. Through a T I would have Lust Born. There isn't a T. This feels close to a bingo, but Born Owls I don't think is good. Well, it's good in the way that I've got one scoring tile in the B, because I ought to be able to, um, I don't know, score at least 20 and leave myself a decent rack leave. But my lead of 22 points is pretty slender. Well, the Les, the Z hook for Les is now, has now disappeared since both blanks have been played. 
can't think of any other eights apart from Last Born. I can play Bon at C13 across. 21 points. Now I do have the ABLE ending onto the E of Reliance, but Snorable, Sawnable are not good. And I have the O for going after Z, so I could play Orb. But that doesn't feel great. I have Rons at J3, but that keeps the B, and I'd prefer to play that. As long as the E of Reliance and the S hook of Reliance is available, this uh, I have to consider this board as a bingo-y board. And given that I have the S, it's worth pursuing a bingo. I've only got seven minutes on my clock. Okay, John doesn't score hugely well. He does take out the spot that I was considering for my B. Now, I, I can play knob across here. LARS is not a fabulous lead. The L and the R don't go well together. But then with N, L and R, no two of them go well together. And I like the R. Knob's only 16 points. That's, that's pretty poor. Ah, what about Lowborn? Do I have Lowborn? This feels much better. Much better rack leaves. And probably a better score. 24 points. It is a better score. AS is a better rack leave. And that's pretty awful. I have a 26 point lead. If John bingo's here, I am in trouble. This is not going to be an easy rack to resolve. Double A, double I. I do have scoring tiles in the F and the H, but I'm not going to leave myself with a bingo -y rack leave. I'd certainly like to resolve my duplicates. However, I note that there's only one A in the bag. Well, but there is three I's. EM only takes an E and a U after it, so it doesn't take an A or an I, so I can't um, use that spot at J10. I've got just under six and a half minutes left. There are still 26 tiles unseen, including six O's. Well, hopefully John is swamped with them. I could do with his scoring slowing down while, while I resolve this rack. The board is becoming very tight, although it's still a bingo board because of uh, the reliance opportunities. Maybe I should take them out. I could play Far F-A-H, at M12 down. It's only one S unplayed. Okay. Now, Deem takes an A in front. I could play Fab at I2. 18 points. Is there any way I can play off the A and an A and an I in one go? Struggling to see um, options on this board. I've got under six minutes left. So, what about FAH down here? How awful is this? It does take an S. I have an S, and there's only one S unseen. 28 points. Well, I, I, that tips it for me. The score, it justifies it. I just hope I don't draw um, a bunch of I's and O's. Okay, that could have been a lot worse. Now, hopefully John may play at M1 down, a three, little three-letter word for 20 points. I don't um, mind that happening. If he doesn't, I'm not sure I can use the S hook for far. And I can't really use the O1 spot because a play of BAL just leaves a horrible rack leave of double ISU. With three eyes unseen, only 19 tiles left. I do not want to have two eyes on my rack going into next go. I do have the U for going underneath EM. Okay, that's fine. 34 points. More than I'd like, but not a disaster. C 
So I've got five minutes left. What can I do? Very few opportunities on this board. Okay, I'm looking at putting a, an eye after Fen. I've got Bayali and Alibi, but nowhere to play them. Four and a half, under four and a half minutes left. This is grim. Just can't see anywhere to play anything, and that's an awful situation to be in. Far better to have a choice of words because then you can just stop at any given point and play one of them or play the best one. Gosh, just can't see anything. I'd like to play off a U and an I. Can't see any way of doing that. Gosh, agony of agonies. This is just awful. I've got three minutes left. What can I do? Two and a half minutes left. Maybe I should change. Well, I'm not going to change. I'm going to play VAU, which is awful. Well, changing has got to be better than that. I'm going to change because I can't think of anything. I've got, only got two minutes left. B, double I, U, keeping A, L, S, no L's played. Okay, it's 287 to 288. I have drawn a Q. Ah, okay. Okay, that probably nails it for John. Hmm, okay. Well, now is not the time to think of what I could have done differently. Nine tiles left there, not bingoy tiles. If I don't take this spot, John will. 45 points, that's pretty good. I have 1 minute 41 seconds left, John has 10 minutes. I am 27 points behind, but John is on turn. He just needs to keep scoring, really. There are a few scoring opportunities on this board for me. I'm looking at ways that I can open up the board uh, in case I have I, I can play a bingo. I'm looking at um, playing in row I to make Adim and something ending Ab, and it would be nice to do so in a way which... Only I could um, use the hook because I already possess it, but lab doesn't work. So this game looks lost, but it's not lost yet, so I need to do as well as I can. I could play Zoa at J, 6 across, 16 points, plays off just a few tiles and scores, 
doesn't achieve my goal of opening the board up, but I don't think that has much prospect of success because if I open it up, John can close it down. I'm thinking back to when I changed and I must not do so just yet. Certainly worth doing after the game. I'm looking for other spots where I can play. Emo is good so I could play uh, power at J9 across. Eighteen points. Not very many. What else is available on this board? Fen takes an eye after it. There are three unplayed, so if were I to draw one of those, I could perhaps have a play beginning RI at uh, K5 down. Iwi, the Lego 2 of the eye, 17 points. Only got one and a half minutes left. So is there a way of opening up the top of the board by playing down onto XI, for example? No, nope, not that I can see. I am 44 points behind. This game feels like a lost cause. Three tiles in the bag. I'm now drawing all of them. And, well, I have Aileron, Alerion, and Alienor. Nowhere to play any of those. I do have the RI for making Ur and Fenai. I'm 26 points behind. John can plan and out in two since I emptied the bag. Just making sure that uh, there isn't anywhere I can play a bingo. Pretty sure there isn't. Cox takes nothing in front of it, nor does Lowborn. I don't have anything onto the J of Wilger. Tusk doesn't take anything in front of it. I've only got one point tiles, so if I don't bingo, my scoring opportunities are limited. So I could play rear at K5 down. John doesn't have an eye to take advantage of that spot. 19 points. Okay, that's not bad. Well, I've got Real in the same spot. 21 points. That would leave me with O-N-E, but I'm not expecting to have two plays... John's rack doesn't look particularly, particularly promising with five vowels, but I'm fairly sure he will um, find a two move out. I'm not going to look for it myself. I have only one minute left, and I need to find other options in case Real is blocked. So do I have anything on to XI? I could have a word ending AXI. Or IXI or OXI. And I do have, uh, well XI could take an E after it to make B double E. So I could have a five letter word end or longer word ending AXIE or OXIE. But I don't have one. I can't see one with this with these tiles. That's a shame because that could have been a 30 point play. I do have the A for making Adim. So wouldn't score a great deal, but I could play Lab. It's important to consider all opportunities with only a minute left because I won't have much thinking time once John has played. 
I could play one at O ten across O N E. Sixteen points. There's no pairs of letters I can play through. I have a pretty promising rack, so alienator would be playable through the right pair. I don't think there are any pairs available on this board. John has three, just over three and a half minutes left. Probably isn't easy finding a two move out with his rack, but he will only be looking to maximise his winning spread. I think he's just, even though he's only 26 points ahead with the board this blocked and with me with no high scoring tiles, um, I'm not going to be able to catch him. Emo takes nothing after it. UP takes an O after it. Okay, 16 points. He's left himself with EOTU. He hasn't blocked Real. I'm assuming he's got an out somewhere. Let me put this on the board and then spend a couple of seconds looking. Where's he going to play OUTE? Okay, I can't see. Maybe I will have another go. And if I do, I've got uh, ONE for going at O10 across. I'm 21 points behind. Okay, he did have an out. All right, so um, what do I do? Pass to end the game. And the final score, 371 to me, 403 to John. So a winning margin of 32 points. Well done, John. And that draws the US level in this series. Um, two games apiece. Let me just reply to John. Okay. Right, let's see uh, what we missed. And wow, what a horror show. No wonder uh, John changed. Wilja looks best. Les, that was John's play. Great, nothing missed here and um, pretty dismal scores. Nothing over 20 points, so what did I play? Gum for 10. I like gum because uh, the rack leave was so good. But I guess I could have played mug in the same spot for um, one more point. And Mug would also stop John from playing uh, Egler, so that was um, poor on my part. Egler looks good. I now had Reliance, and Careline was a third anagram, but not as good as Reliance. Oh, look at that. Horrible rack for John. But uh, did he change? Yeah, he did. Now, oh, wow, Corixid. That would have been um, splendid fun. 37 points at C5. Instead, I'm sure I did pretty some, something pretty uh, um, less good. Oh, well, actually, Cox isn't bad. Not far behind. And John? Did John miss a bingo here? Well, he either missed a bingo or he liked the keep playing, scoring 39 points and keeping both planks. I'm not going to call that um, a miss. Whoops, let me go back to my Dataria rack. There was nowhere to play it. J12. Oh, I see. I could have played parallel to Reliance on the left-hand side for 37 points. Yep, that would certainly have been better than my 30-point play, but not hugely better. And this is where John had fronting, and it's a pretty good spot. Um, that's a, a pretty yucky rack. And it's good to spot a bingo through a G when you haven't got any vowels. I played Favus, and I could have played Flavor, keeping DSU. Uh, same score, but um, Flavor would have retained the S. Well, John certainly did not have good racks during this game, which makes his win all the more commendable. Musk, 42 points. That was, well, he played Tusk. Uh, I suspect Musk probably better.
But no, it wasn't because um, he had duplicate T, so Tusk is fine. Ooh, agony. End plate. Oh, gosh. Okay, that's a bit of a horror show. Certainly should have spotted that. Well, glad I didn't see the scrolling railbird comments when I overlooked that play. Gosh, and punted's awful in comparison. Vive, yeah, that looks fine. Great, I didn't miss another bingo. I played Lowborn, a Bronchi was playable and may have been slightly better, but not hugely. Needment, great, John Mr. Bingo, fabulous. Great, well, that makes me feel mar mildly better. Uh, I must say, though, that End Plate is a much higher probability bingo than Needment. Now, here, um, what did I do? I played Far for 28. I could have played Half for 30. Probably not much between them. Yeah, not much between them. Yoda, yep, yeah, that's fine. This is where I changed, and this is quite a significant point in the game. Um, so, well, yeah, AI for 17. I think I was too hung up on playing the U, which is a bit silly since the Q was unseen. Um, AI, 17 points, certainly better than changing. Alibi at J7. Yeah, not. I'm not so sure about that because that really does open up the triple word square, but AI, definitely um, a better play than changing. Ditones and side note was also playable in pretty much the same spot. Cheese, that looks best. Horrible rack for John. Didn't really matter. EUA, yeah, that's one of the best plays. I I played Poa. Oh, and I could have played Apo for um for more points. Yeah, just by putting the A in front of Po rather than after it. And here we're into end game territory where um, it's all about finding a two move out so I can play, place less reliance on the choices offered here. Nixie. Oh well, yep, that was um, better than my play but would not have been winning. And finally, Utre was the only out so had I blocked that, John would have would not have been able to play out. So I hope you enjoyed watching that game. Pretty close. Um Great play by John, good spot of um, of fronting. Um, miss bingos by both of us, uh, John missing Needment and me missing End Plate, which um, just shows how difficult it is to play um, perfectly. But uh, Scrabble is a contest, so I hope you enjoyed the competitive element uh, of this game and um, benefited from hearing my thought processes while I was playing and losing live. Thank you for watching.